Title, The Balfour Declaration, a landmark in the history of Zionism and the Middle East. The aftermath of World War I significantly influenced the context of Israel's formation, albeit indirectly. One of the key outcomes of the war was the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, which had ruled over the territory known as Palestine for centuries. The defeat of the Ottoman Empire led to the British Mandate over Palestine, established by the League of Nations in 1922. Introduction The Balfour Declaration, issued on November 2, 1917, by the British government during World War I, remains one of the most consequential documents in the history of the Middle East. This declaration, comprising just 67 words, expressed British support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. Over a century later, its impact continues to reverberate through the complex geopolitics of the region. Context. To understand the significance of the Balfour Declaration, it is essential to examine the historical context in which it was made. At the time of its issuance, the First World War was raging across Europe, the Middle East and beyond. The decline of the Ottoman Empire, which had ruled over vast territories including Palestine for centuries, presented an opportunity for European powers to assert their influence in the region. Meanwhile, the Zionist movement, advocating for the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine, had been gaining momentum, particularly in Europe, where anti-Semitic persecution was rampant. Influential figures within the British government, including Foreign Secretary Arthur Balfour, were sympathetic to the Zionist cause for distinct reasons, including strategic considerations and the belief in the fulfillment of biblical prophecies. Content and Significance The Balfour Declaration, addressed to Lord Rothschild, a prominent British Zionist leader, affirmed the British government's support for the establishment of a Jewish national home in Palestine, while also emphasizing that nothing shall be done which may prejudice the civil and religious rights of existing non-Jewish communities in Palestine. This declaration was a watershed moment for the Zionist movement, as it provided official recognition and endorsement from a major world power for their aspirations. It galvanized Jewish immigration to Palestine laying the groundwork for the eventual establishment of the State of Israel. However, the Balfour Declaration also sowed the seeds of discord in the region. The promise of a Jewish national home in Palestine was made without adequate consultation with the indigenous Arab population, leading to tensions and conflicts that persist to this day. The ambiguous language regarding the rights of non-Jewish communities foreshadowed the complexities and challenges of coexistence in the future state. Legacy and Controversies The Balfour Declaration's legacy is a matter of intense debate and controversy. Supporters hail it as a seminal moment in the fulfillment of Jewish national aspirations, while critics decry it as a colonialist imposition that disregarded the rights of the Arab population. Its impact on the subsequent history of the Middle East cannot be overstated. The Declaration set in motion a series of events that ultimately led to the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948, fundamentally altering the demographic and political landscape of the region. The unresolved tensions between Israelis and Palestinians, rooted in competing claims to the land, continue to shape the conflict to this day. Conclusion In conclusion, the Balfour Declaration remains a pivotal document in the history of the Middle East encapsulating the hopes, aspirations, and conflicts of a tumultuous era. Its legacy is complex and multifaceted, embodying both the aspirations of one people and the grievances of another. Understanding the significance of the Balfour Declaration is essential for comprehending the enduring complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the broader geopolitics of the region.